Oh, right, recording. Let me get some water quick. All right, you guys. Welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are good today. So, it is the World Cup still, and it was a crazy game today. We need to talk about it. The first one, Morocco versus Portugal. Oh, my God. Morocco knocked out Portugal with this beautiful header. And they're the first African team to make it this far ever in a World Cup. Uh, it was very sad, though, like, to see Ronaldo. Uh, I just need to talk about the lineup first. Bono was on fire, by the way. But the coach, I don't know what he was thinking. Like, first off... Uh, Jao Cancelo from Man City show started. Like, let some play from Manchester United start. Like, Manchester United is flopping right now. And then Cristiano Ronaldo should have started. Like, they should have let the big guys play. They, he benched in the previous one, but in this one, they sh he should have started. Same with Rafael Liao. Like, this guy has showed uh, time after time that he deserves the respect that they're not giving him. Um... Yeah, definitely a questionable lineup if you ask me. Um, yeah, it's crazy though. Morocco is in the semifinals and they're gonna meet. Let's just go over to their, that game. France versus England. That was a crazy game as well. Like that's one thing in this World Cup. Like it, they have not disappointed with like excitement and just uh, shocking results uh, i know that not just cristiano ronaldo is not sleeping well tonight uh, harry kane is not the one like mm, france took the lead uh, was that a uh, guy i don't know how to pronounce his name but that was a beautiful goal from a distance uh, who was involved that's why mbappe dembele and griezmann got the assist and it was from a distance because defensively like uh, England, they kept it tight there. Uh, so France just, he just took it from a distance. Uh, the Real Madrid player, I think he's like 22 years old. Um, that was a nice goal though. I have to, you know, give respect to where he's due. And then uh, England, they got the penalty. Harry Kane took it. It was nicely. And on the top left corner, I think. Um, it was a nice one. And then... Uh, Giroud scored. Oh my god. And France took the lead again. And that's just Giroud be scoring in moments like that. Because like I can run faster than Giroud, but like that don't even matter. Like he when they need him, he he show up. And England, they had some a lot of chances. They looked better than France, like I think it was in the beginning of the second half. But France, they kept it together throughout the game though. Even though uh, when it looked like England was going to create something, like, uh, defensively, uh, France kept it nice. But then the second one, here we see in the, uh, on the 84th minute, Harry Kane, and he missed it up wide. Mm. I know he's not going to he's going to remember this one for a long time and think about it over and over and over. Uh, yeah, frustrating for some, uh, historical, amazing for some other ones. Um, the semi-finals is gonna be crazy because France versus Morocco. A lot of great key players in the Moroccan squad are from Paris, from France. Uh, so that's gonna be very interesting. And then also... Argentina versus Croatia. Uh, yeah, some good games. It's been some amazing ones, so super entertaining, like I said. I love when it's just unexpected things happening. And what do you guys think though? Comment down below. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, good night, thank you for watching. <laughs>